This is Twit. All right, now we're going to see some Android wear. Dave Singleton, David Singleton is Director of Engineering for Android and... We're right at the beginning in a new phase in the miniaturization we're of technology. Talk about which means that it's finally possible watches to make a powerful and computer what is he wearing enough to wear comfortably mm -hmm. on no your idea body what that all day long and there's a huge picture of the moto x or moto 360 i should say on the screen devices. that's probably a galaxy and that's why we're building I mean, a samsung android device wear as our platform for wearables based on android android wear makes it easy for developers to reach users on this new form factor using precisely the same tools we're already familiar with on Android phones and tablets. People will, people will be wearing these small, powerful devices, so style is important. And that's why Android Wear supports both square and circular screens. Well, there you go. There was some a wide variety of question about designs. a circular screen. The Moto 360 is circular Sensors because nobody seems to make these parts. Your mm. So they can provide useful information when you need it. But clearly the software supports goals. it. So. And as the device that you always have with you, your watch so Android will also users check their phones on average 125 times a day. <laughs> and as Dave noted earlier, act as your key in a I think that's about right. World. <laughs> Across the world, people check their Android phones an average of 125 Sorry, times a day. I just saw that come up day. on Twitter. That's, why <laughs> that's <I said>. okay. <laughs> Twitter is a little faster than the Google I.O. feed. That's fine. Information. Yeah, and make sure you have a crazy amount of time. I don't think I check my phone that much. Engage with the people that you're actually with. We do this. Well, that's only about eight times an hour. That's not. Uh... <laughs> if I'm just sitting there reading it for an hour, what does that count as? Yeah. Mm. Here's a live demo on the every, LG G1. Every eight minutes. Every you can seven see or eight that it minutes. Has an that's about right. That at any given time. Okay, here's a watch. He's showing a. Uh, uh, the, is this the LG? You. So, Jeff. It looks like your flight to Brazil for the World Cup is on it's time. The LG G1. I guess you watch. do deserve a break after okay. this big demo. And if Jeff wanted to see more, he can simply square, raise his watch clunky, and tap the screen, very much like the Gear Two. Vibrant full color that you're already seeing here. Throughout the day, if Jeff receives a notification which buzzes his phone, his watch will vibrate on his wrist and show him what's up at a glance, so he won't miss an important message like this one. Swiping up and down navigates you. They're actually the demonstrating with this with a, an act which includes a live information uh, from Google phone. Now, mm -hmm. apps running this looks good. Phone, and this apps is... running directly on the wearable itself. That's that's nice with the the back screen. Yeah, you you, you see the context picture if details. you have one. You can see that we've applied material design here. And they have the a, a desktop that's beautiful textured background. Appropriate to what you're looking at. And wallpaper. just like in your phone's notification shade. You can swipe a card away to remove it from your That's screen. That's nice. Swipe away notifications phone, off to the right. Notification has disappeared. Back at the watch face, pressing and holding lets you choose a different one. They've spent some time on the UI, obviously. You can see obviously. that there's a broad selection of analog and digital designs. This is the LG G Watch we're face. looking at. Okay, now that we're acquainted with the overall UI model, Let's see how Android Wear can work for you. Imagine that Jeff has just got up in the morning. He swipes up and sees the weather forecast for the day. His commute's not looking too bad. This is and Google Google's Now, Jeff, basically. I guess you need that package for your trip to Brazil. You better not forget to pick it up. OK, Google. Remind me to check my mailbox when I get home. Always listening mode. Now, if we can see Jeff's phone at the same time. You didn't touch anything to speak to the You'll watch. see this is immediately synced across. That's a really key feature of any wearable is you, you just can't have too much information on the screen so the digital assistant really can be useful there. A little later on, as Jeff is arriving at the office, his watch vibrates again with a chat message from one of the team. He can see who it's from and what he's saying, all without having to fumble around and get out his phone. You're watching your phone stay in sync. When you swipe away a notification on the watch, it disappears from the phone, as Jeff is showing now. So now they're showing both the phone and the watch, and you see instantaneously that the notification goes away on the phone. Convenient. That makes sense. And apps will stay in sync too. While Jeff is making his lunch, he finds it really hard to get the last peanut butter out of the jar. And he comes up with an idea, possibly a very brilliant one, <laughs> that he wants to remember. 
Google Keep, their note taking double sided peanut butter jar app on the phone. You can dictate to it. Phone. We'll try that one more time. Oops. Take a note double sided peanut butter jar. I guess the universe doesn't want there to be a double sided peanut butter jar <laughs> after all. The demo it, gods are not with them today. Not today. But kudos to them for trying a live demo. So moving along, that note would have been saved immediately to his phone, and he can get on with his lunch.